Okay, so this is the exile day. It's time. It's the day. Now, one good thing about the service, especially in case a hotel internet service uh, want to go out, uh, you could pre-arrange a ride like more than 30 days ahead or uh, ahead of time that you want to. And, you know, you got to be at a place at a certain time, especially for work on a, or a trip like, uh, like I've been. And... Although I didn't do it for uh, the airport thing part of it, I just uh, do it when I'm ready. <clears throat> I, oh no, I didn't, no, I did it, but I, I paid a roommate, that's what it happened. I paid a roommate to take me to the airport, and then that way I didn't have to wait for, uh, I didn't have to wait for a lift. And <clears throat> now, since I had to wait for a lift, um, I said, why don't I just make the time? And I had to be at the airport two hours ahead, but I already checked in. So I should be still on time for the airport so I can get time to check my bag. And, well, I can only check in one bag because I got the my main big bag, got the pillow. I got the bag with my comfort bag, uh, my, uh, you know, my sheets, my, my blanket. And I had to figure out whether I want to take my pizza or not. Although I need the pizza for today, because I just had breakfast. The problem is, well, if I leave the pizza, then I still have $25 for to get food when I get to Galveston over at Grubhub. Because I don't want to have to log a big box of pizza around uh, the airport when I already got a small bag and then a bag that the pillows came uh, the pillows came out of. And it was ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous that I'm forced to lug a bag around until I get to the uh, part where I take in my bag. <clears throat> and so, oh yeah, had a little bit of craziness. I thought I actually paid for, you know, the deposit for my room. Okay. Now, even though I paid the deposit, I found out yesterday because I was trying to coordinate with the... Uh, with the landlady or the, the owner of the building, um, you know, that my flight is, well, at the time I called last night, but the flight is today because I was so nervous. I didn't know what was going on. I mean, you know, and then we had this uh, whole emotional, emotional tributes to Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt and um, Terry Funk. And turn around Monday in my late wife's uh, um anniversary when she passed away. So I'm at a, I'm at a wreck. I'm literally at a wreck. And if you're going on a flight and you're missing a loved one, do me a favor. Don't listen to a tribute video right before a flight. Uh, do it when you get to your destination. Do it when you get home. Uh, that would be a little more better. Because if you do it at the destination, uh, you're going to make a long shot. You're going you're, you're to be a wreck just like I am. I said I wanted to see it because it was fresh on everybody's mind. And on top of that, I made the biggest mistake of them all. I watched the Tim Bell salute for both, both Bray Wyatt and, um, and um, Terry Funk. Now, this happened at SmackDown. I thought they were going to do, you know, maybe Bray Wyatt on SmackDown and then uh, Terry Funk of all or whatever. I don't know what they're going to do both on the, on the, on the different venues on a different brand. And if they do, I mean, this is, Oh boy. I mean, wow. I mean, you got other wrestling promotions, uh, podcast, uh, talking about Bray Wyatt and Terry Funk and yours truly, uh, if all goes well on Tuesday, uh, me and the sheriff is going to have a very special, a uh, very special podcast about the memory of Bray Wyatt and Terry Funk, and we're going to talk about our thoughts and and then we're going to find out where we where were we where were we when we found out that they passed away, and it's just a, such a surreal experience when you had two high profile uh, high profile superstar deaths in one day, and then not coming fresh out of podcast movement. And then on Tuesday, you just, you just hanged out with a Hall of Famer uh, and also 
another WWE superstar. You just hang out with a WCW superstar. I mean, I mean, it's just surreal. It's just surreal. I mean, the magnitude of what, what happened. I was like on a cloud nine because I hanged out with wrestlers. One of them called me out. Um... At the during the whole the, uh, during most of the event, and you know I was so on a high, and now this on the on the same day, I'm just resting here before this morning of the flight, just resting here. Now I'm just nervous, and then oh, well, so I called like I said, I called the landlord, the landlady, and thankfully she's a Christian, thank God. So hopefully there's no problem for her. Uh, but, uh, she's a Christian, her husband's a Christian, the maintenance person is a Christian, so hopefully I should be in good hands, although it's an all-male, uh, all-male place, but I don't have to deal with a Karen, so, uh, there's ups and downs in that one, but, uh, yeah, so I came into a snag, but then we came up with some solutions, and so, I almost would have not have made it to, uh, I almost would have not made it to live to the 29th because now I thought that I had paid for the uh, 155 for the deposit, which I did. Okay. I knew that was to hold the room. I thought I was like be able to move in and, you know, wait till uh, the 29th. That's when my usual rent money would come. First of the month, I usually uh, dump that as rent money. So, yeah, so. Okay, so I'm gonna pay him with the regular six point twenty five. Yeah, yeah. So I still owe three fifty, and I think I owe twenty five dollars for a background charge, which uh, I probably might have forgot because I knew I was coming here, and then that uh, that was uh, cut me off a little bit. Uh, and then I had to pay the regular six twenty five for this particular month. So. But they cut me a break and still let me move in, thank God. I just had to pay a seventy, which I was supposed to have three something because I had to get a f I had to get me a new phone. Of course. Well or I had to get tickets to Podfest movement uh, podcast movement and podfest next year because I had to work on, you know, paying separate weeks for the hotel and stuff like that, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm tired, even though I did get some good sleep and a good dream. But, yeah, I would have been on the street if I would have tried a calm approach. I mean, I was a nervous wreck when they actually text me. And so I quickly sent her my bank statements and I quickly sent my ID, which is a hassle because when you're the only one that's doing everything, it's hard. It is really hard. And then it's blurry. Then you have to do it again. It's like, oh, my gosh. But... Things uh, things have worked out. Uh, long, uh, I'm gonna pay the rent on the 29th. I told her the money don't come in until 11:30. Uh, as like usually, as soon as as soon as the money comes in, boom, I pay my rent. Okay, as soon as the money comes in, bam, first thing off the top, that uh, that's my rent. Okay, but now I gotta pay a 70, and I think she said I gotta pay something else, but that's for. Uh, Next month or whatever like that. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I don't know when it will be my last uh, payment for the Missouri Blind Pension. Because I believe I had the letter of death, but it went to my old place. And I thought that all my mail is going to go to my new place. Which I almost had to delay to get. And then if I make it out alive or not, I think it's like 26, 27, 28, which is the day it's going to be rough for me. 29. And that'll be four, uh, three days that I would have been in, in outside in the heat. Not sure if I'm gonna be alive or dead. Yeah, that's how bad it is. And they still keep talking about records are broken because I kept look, look, looking, keeping track of what what the heck's going on. Yet, right now it's sixty degrees. I'm about to put on shorts. But well, I've got to be at the airport anyway. I'm about to put a short, but I'm gonna have to put a jacket on. Yeah. A jacket. Well, that basically, that's because I can't fit everything in a stupid bag. I know. I had to make the conscious decision, and I had to make a conscious decision to leave one of my problems to have behind because I can't cross strings past, uh, you know, past security. 
Oh, man. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. And then I had a video since last night that's still waiting to upload. I mean, it takes all night for YouTube to upload one video. One video. Come on, man. Unbelievable. And then once I get to place, I got to set up the, uh, the Wi-Fi once I get there. I mean, hey. Shoot. I mean... Unbelievable. This is un but the uh the porch area is nice. I mean, you can sit outside and everything like that. And well, according to them, there's a sea breeze because they told me about, you know, they don't unlock the door, but I had to close the door behind me and really close the door because whew, the winds are powerful. So maybe I could can be able to finally get outside. Yeah. That might be a good thing. That might be a good thing. So Oh yeah, and I'm my room is facing the balcony, so a plus for that. My room is facing the balcony, so I think soon as I get the rent, I should be home free. But I would only have sixty dollars, you know, for this month. I thought I was gonna get a phone, but I have to get me I, I have to get me an ID now. Depend upon how much I uh, still have in Lyft. Uh, by the time I get back to uh, Bush. Then I could probably schedule a time because you still have to schedule a time to go to the DMV. And I hope they have a DMV office in Galveston so you don't have to go too far away back in Houston just to do the ID because it's like 60 or $70, close to $60, $70 to get back and forth. And I don't want to go away to Houston uh, just to get my ID. Uh, but I'll figure out a way uh, to make an appointment based upon how much I have, because I still got to get back and forth. So, so exile begins, and it begins now on the big D zone. Uh, yeah, so, oh my God, I mean, nervous, tired, but at least I had some sleep, but mostly nervous. <laughs> I am nervous, I mean, I'm literally, literally nervous, so. But hopefully all goes well, and I should be able to stay and then pay on the 29th. And then, you know, depending upon how I do on the, uh, the, uh, the payment of death on the 10th, maybe I could pay my late payment then too. And then still be able to get my tickets for uh, PodFest and Podcast Movement. Maybe Evolutions LA? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think of something. If I don't do evolutions, I, I would at least want to do DC. At least. So. Uh, I wish I didn't get the letter of DF so early. My name, unless I got to get ready. I got to get ready to go. Exiled to Galveston. It's time.